Hello, my name is Kelly Campbell, and this is my critical sociocultural self-reflection assignment. My five sociocultural markers have changed since my time as a child to my time as a parent. My first marker is race. Obviously, by looking at me, it is apparent that I am a Caucasian woman. But going beyond that, I have birthed four beautiful African-American children. Two, class. As a child, I would consider my upbringing to be lower middle class. We were not poor, but we definitely had a budget. And once I reached high school, I was more of an upper middle class. If I wanted or needed something, I got it. Now, as a parent, my family is considered low income. I have to be very careful with money. And we go out with some, we go out without sometimes. Three, education level. I am a first generation college student. My parents did not go to college. They both got into trade and both worked their way from the bottom to the top. I was a late in life baby. So my older sister had a different upbringing than I did. She used to make comments about how everything she owned was from Payless and everything I owned was from Abercrombie. By the time I came around, both my parents started their careers and became established in them early on in my life. For my children, my husband and I do not have a college education until now when I decided to go back to school as an adult and follow my dreams of becoming a special educator. Four, geographic region slash origin. I was born and raised in Tucson, Arizona. I spent a lot of time in the desert. Five, religion. So as a child, I was raised Catholic, very strict Irish Catholic. My mother attended Catholic school her whole life, and I was immediately placed in Bible study at a young age. Luckily, at the very last minute, my parents decided not to send me to Catholic school, and I got to attend public school instead. Once I moved out of Tucson, Arizona, um, at the age of 18, I never went back to church. I do not practice religion, and I do not have my children practice religion. I feel like these markers influenced my education experience as an adult more than it did when I was a child. I grew up very privileged. I recognize that, but I honestly didn't realize it until I had my own family. Now, as an adult in college, I will look at my list for required materials, required textbooks, and sometimes I don't know how I will pay for them. Or I work a second job to help pay for the tuition that is not covered by my scholarship. My new perspective of going from middle class to low income, I get upset when I can't afford the tools or materials I need to be successful. A prime example would be last summer, I had one class in person at the Tempe campus and I had to pay for parking. I literally pinched pennies just so I could pay the $7 parking fee for four days a week for seven weeks to attend one class. Now, do my social socio-cultural markers intersect? Of course, they do, naturally. But I felt like they intersected more as a child than they do as an adult for me. Um, but now that I'm a parent of four beautiful African-American mixed race babies. My oldest is gifted and has shown frustrations of being the only black girl in her class, the only black girl on her volleyball team, um, friends getting mad at her for not doing the same hairstyle as them for a game or a performance. Um, my second child is a boy who has had extremely different experiences with educators, putting a stigma on him and ignoring key indicators for a disability because they thought he was just being bad. He was ignored, despite me being extremely vocal and taking every route imaginable. He was still ignored until he was nine years old. I started collaborating with professionals that I work with um, that know my family and know me. That took a really long time, but he was diagnosed with ADHD, sensory processing disorder, and autism. Keep in mind, I have been fighting for this child since he was 18 months old, had him formally evaluated by medical professionals and education professionals before the age of three years old, and 
continue to have him evaluated and beg for help. And the help did not come until he was nine. I did not get support until he was nine. The person I shared my video with is a colleague and a friend, Kara Mauser. She is a self-contained preschool teacher and autism specialist for Kyrene School District. I felt comfortable sharing this with her because we have similar backgrounds. Um, we have similar life goals. She has taken me under her wing um, to be a mentor. She's she's taken me under her wing to be um, one of my mentors and wants to make sure I'm successful, my family successful. Um, she's also very intersectional intersexual competent <laughs> um, and really helped my son get the support he needs at school. And she was his voice for him when I couldn't be. So um, I feel comfortable sharing this with her. Um, thank you. That is the end of my assignment.